Okay. Well, hello to all. I uh, just wanted to, uh, by way of uh, introduction, welcome you to uh, Management 241 Global Business. Uh, and uh, just wanted to spend a little bit of time going over the syllabus with you. So let me screen share if I can find it here. And here we go. All right. So <clears throat> just want to uh, go over a few things with the syllabus. Uh, this is an online class, so it will be non-synchronous. We will have some voluntary Zoom sessions, which are not requirements. You do not have to attend these, but uh, they'll be available to uh, go over some items, add a little bit of depth to some of the conversation and so forth. Uh, <clears throat> relatively uh, straightforward. Uh, if you go through the syllabus uh, contact information, you should uh, be aware that uh, the easiest way to reach me for questions or issues or concerns is going to be using my Gmail address and, uh, you know, Gmail and or NJCU would probably make some sense. The course is already uh, paired with the McGraw-Hill textbook that has been uh, chosen by the dean's office. Um, I do not, I, I don't do chapter by chapter through the textbook, so uh, our use of the textbook will be for research and reference only. Uh, so you have to decide whether you want to opt out or uh, keep it or whatever. I can't really weigh in on that one way or the other. Uh, other than to say that topically we will cover many of the things in the textbook, but there are plenty of uh, available resources uh, to be able to research that and uh, you know refine our understanding and so forth. So it's a great book, you know, great to be able to reference it, but there will not be chapter by chapter, week by week, quiz by quiz, and so forth. Uh, we're just not going to operate that way. You can read through the uh, syllabus as far as description and purpose and uh, course outcomes that uh, I hope we will achieve, um, you know, in attendance. Uh, really, uh, the thing I require is an email per the syllabus uh, up front first week, just, uh, you know, professor, this is so-and-so from this and this class, just to confirm that I am attending. That's my way of... Uh, uh, identifying initial attendance because we have to report that to the registrar's office and so forth. Uh, and you can read the rest of this written assignments, you know, the uh, manner and so forth. We're all ex uh, interested in uh, grading. So excellent work is uh, an A, very good work, an A minus and so forth that you read here. I know we're all very grade phobic uh, and so forth. So that'll give you a perspective on that. And um, you know, again, we'll talk about uh, during the course of the semester uh, deliverables and things like that, but uh, I hope we will uh, outline some of that, uh, you know, here today. Uh, so, you know, if we uh, go to the projected schedule, and again, this is just a guideline. Um, you know, if something takes longer than a week, then we'll go into the following week, longer than two weeks, well, everything gets pushed back a little bit. Uh, there is a, a pretty fair amount of, uh, you know, reading and so forth. And if you've looked at the content section on Blackboard, I've already posted some things there. And, uh, you know, so you'll be able to pick at those as, you know, the uh, nature of our discussion goes in that direction or a particular direction. But if you look at the uh, projected schedule, uh, when you see things like read, well, you know, that's your, uh, you know, notice or tasking to read in this case the case Porter's Competitive Advantage of Nations and that is on Blackboard or will be on Blackboard shortly. Uh, there is a, uh, uh, a video, uh, a movie if you will, uh, so you need to locate, procure, and watch the DVD Gung Ho with Michael Keat. And uh, again, I have that, and in class I would normally dedicate a class or something like that. It's a little bit of a lengthy movie, but I would dedicate a class to uh, watching that. I'm not sure we're able to do that in a non-synchronous uh, fashion. So this is one of those things. Last time I had looked, 
it was available on, uh, you know, YouTube, uh, or at least most of it was. And then, of course, you know, you can probably find it on Netflix. I think, I don't know if it was last semester, probably not. I think the semester before, uh, several students found it there and, and so forth. So uh, you're going to have to hunt that down. Uh, <clears throat> when we see something here that suggests research, that means for you to go research, in this case, Hofstede's Five Cultural Dimensions. Now, when you start to study Hofstede, you realize that his more recent work includes a sixth dimension, which, uh, you know, five dimensions, six dimensions, five will certainly apply to what we're doing, the sixth one, uh, you know, I'm, I'm less concerned with, but if that's what you find, that's what you find, that'll be fine. Uh, view PowerPoint, so there is a PowerPoint entitled Overview of International Basics, so at some point you'll be looking at that. Uh, there are several YouTube videos that I have, one on hedging and several on other topics. And, you know, you'll, you'll find them. I'll give you the link. I'll put that up in contents and you'll click on the link, watch the video and so forth. Uh, <clears throat> research trade agreements, read the Packhead Habana case, read Blue Ocean Strategy. So it's pretty straightforward uh, and, uh, you know, all of that. And, um, you know, then uh, at the end of the uh, term, uh, we'll be interested in uh, a final company analysis. I used to trade between country analysis and company analysis. But, uh, you know, in, in terms of uh, global strategic, that plays into uh, individual nation states a little bit more than this does. So we're going to choose uh, for our final deliverable, one of three companies. And, and so we'll go through that uh, and so forth. Uh, just a couple of quick notes on things. Uh, uh, so 10% of your grade is, uh, you know, your uh, intent to participate, uh, which is your email uh, week one. Discussion board questions are about 30% of your grade. The case and movie analyses, plural, will be about 30% of your grade. Uh, when you do submit things, again, format, APA 7th is the School of Business format, spelling, syntax, et cetera, uh, is an important uh, component that makes up 10% of your grade, and your final company analysis, analysis will be 20% of your grade. Uh, just some notes, uh, so you're aware, uh, you know, on some things that are happening. And... Um, you know, that's it. Uh, on written submissions, I have a signature page stating it's your original work and so forth. Uh, that's, uh, that's really it. Um, you know, again, we'll be dealing somewhat with, uh, you know, trade theories and, and different aspects of global uh, business and how that relates to, um, you know, specific firms and, and so forth. And uh, so, you know, that's, that's pretty much going to be our focus. I have a couple of uh, introductory PowerPoints, and I'll be uh, creating videos with those in the next uh, day or so. So you'll find some links uh, for yourself uh, to be able to click on it at your own leisure and, and so forth. And, um, you know, then uh, the rest of it, uh, like I say, pretty straightforward. If there's anything uh, unique, uh, please, uh, you know, reach out to me. Uh, you'll be doing a uh, firm analysis, uh, which is your final deliverable, and that um, is right there. And uh, you're going to choose one of these three companies, either Marubeni Corporation, Alibaba, or Amazon. And in your analysis of these firms, you're going to apply uh, the culture element, which is Hofstede. And that's why we'll be doing a little bit of a deep dive into Hofstede. Uh, you'll apply this, this SAP ETOP model, which we will talk about <clears throat> the strategic advantage profile of our individual firm and the environmental threats and opportunities profile. Uh, which is the surrounding environment, you know, political, legal, regulatory, social, cultural, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so you'll be incorporating that. There is a uh, case which you will be reading and studying, which is called Value Driven Management or VDM, uh, written by uh, Dr. Randy Pullman. 
and then we'll be discussing uh, some other things. Um, in terms of your final uh, presentation, um, you know, don't look for a specific tick sheet because I don't use those. Uh, it's, it's not uh, out of anything other than, you know, if I say do A, B, and C, you'll do A, B, and C. Well, okay, so how do we separate those that are uh, better uh, driven uh, for research and, and study and so forth from those that are just, you know, jumping through the hoop to get a grade. And uh, so that's that's the idea. You know, I'm, I'm looking at what is the best you can deliver, and that's different for everyone. If I give you a tick sheet, you know, do Porter, you'll do Porter. Do VDM, you'll do VDM, you know, and so forth. So I, I don't uh, go into great detail with uh, tick sheets and things like that. Uh, there is a uh, bunch of reading, uh, PowerPoints to view, videos to watch. Most of them are pretty entertaining and so forth, but that's what we'll be doing. Now, the one thing that, um, you know, I'm going to do a little uh, differently, and I started doing this last semester, and I kind of, uh, kind of warmed up to the idea. I kind of like this idea. Uh, but since we have to do discussion board uh, postings, because that's, uh, you know, again, a, uh, you know, part of your uh, grade, I guess, if, uh, you know, you want to look at it that way, um, you know, and, and, you know, so discussion board, well, you know, we'll be talking about different things, there'll be different topics posted. And so obviously, you'll contribute to that. Uh, if the stuff is really college light, then, you uh, you know, obviously that won't reflect the best and so forth. But uh, I, I generally do not do uh, a final exam in this course. Uh, your final deliverable is the analysis, in this case, company analysis uh, and, and so forth. And um, that's this choice of, you know, again, Marabeni, Alibaba or Amazon. Uh, as far as uh, the uh, final deliverable. And there will be some case studies, you know, at some point we'll pop in there, uh, you know, analyze this case and, and that'll be done in somewhat a traditional format, you know, some kind of a typically a paper, perhaps supported by PowerPoint or whatever. But those those are smaller and it's uh, just, uh, you know, intended, frankly, just to make sure you do the reading and you have an understanding, uh, for example, of value driven management. But the final deliverable. Uh, is uh, your most important piece. And in this company analysis, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to add an element of flexibility. I tried it last semester, and, and generally speaking, I like the results. We all have different skills. And, and let, me, let me do the stop share. You know, we don't need this thing sitting in front. We all have different skills. The traditional format, you know, the old school format, of course, was the idea that, uh, well, you know, sit there and write a 25 page paper, uh, fully cited and referenced APA, you know, fifth, sixth, seventh, whatever it was at the time. And that would be, uh, you know, your final deliverable. And of course, you'd be graded uh, based on that. More contemporary uh, uh, methods included the use of PowerPoint sometimes with notes view, because as we know in PowerPoint, it's typically that you would, uh, you know, put bullet points in general topical discussion uh, on a slide. Uh, but then the detail would come in notes, because you can't fit all that on, on a slide. You don't want to put, you know, five pounds of, uh, uh, you know, uh, whatever, five pounds of soil, uh, you know, in a two pound sack. So, that works. That's okay. You know, you can do PowerPoint. Sometimes you add an audio track. Sometimes you embed a little video, whatever it happens to be. But, you know, <clears throat> you, you guys and, and, you know, meant generically, of course, and you're, you're, you're all younger than I am, you know, duh. Um, you guys have great skill. You know, I mean, you, you guys are really good at stuff that I, I wish, uh, you know, was stuff that was around, you know, when I was coming up. And, and I sat where you sit. So, I mean, I got banged with the, uh, you know, traditional 25-page paper. And then, of course, we added some PowerPoint at some point. But you guys 
last semester, some of your peers, your colleagues, did just extraordinary work using video. And, you know, you guys are really good. You know, you go to the mall, there's a selfie. You go on a cruise and, and you're, you're taking the selfie, you know, and all this stuff. You guys are really, really good at that. I mean, from, you know, back, you know, when I was coming up, we had slide. So you guys, and I keep saying this to the other classes as well, you guys could launch the space shuttle from your cell phones. You guys have skill. So here's the flexibility I've been adding into pretty much every course that, that I teach. Your final deliverable. You're doing a company analysis. Granted, you're going to put all kinds of stuff in there. And we'll put meat on the bones during the semester as to, you know, what helps, what maybe doesn't help so much and so forth. But here's the thing. Last semester, several of your colleagues, your peers, did videos of, you know, whatever the topic, the final deliverable was. They were outstanding. Outstanding. So it's up to you. Some of you possibly prefer to write. I mean, if you're a good writer, uh, spelling, syntax, all of that's not an issue. You like doing the research, citing things and have a reference page and all this. You, your final deliverable, you want to do a paper, do a paper. You want to do a PowerPoint, do a PowerPoint. I mean, I suggest notes for you because if you just have, you know, just simple topics on slides, it's going to come across as having no depth and very college light. And that's not a positive thing. But do a PowerPoint if you're comfortable with that. Do a, a paper supported by a PowerPoint or a PowerPoint supported by a paper, whatever appeals to you. Or do something really creative. Do a video. Do a video. Do a deep dive on one of these companies. And instead of typing and, and creating slides and importing this picture and this, you know, gimmicky looking thing here, do a video. Get, get you know, get your camera, get a background, whatever, have your notes in front of you and do what you got to do. And then send me and, and make it a YouTube video, you know, select private, you know, wh wh whatever occurs to you, as long as you can send me the link and I can open it. That is a really good way to go. Last semester, some of your colleagues and peers just did extraordinary work that way. What I'm trying to do is make it easy. For you. So if writing's easy, do writing. If PowerPoint's familiar, to you, do PowerPoint. If video is whatever makes life better for you, that's what I'd like you to use in an attempt to make this, you know, I don't want to uh, call it the, the easy course, because I'm sure it's not that, because you've got a lot of reading to do, you've got a lot of thinking to do, and so forth. But as far as the format, the technology that you use for your final deliverable, whatever is better for you. And if it's something that I haven't mentioned, you know, paper, PowerPoint, uh, video, uh, you know, send me an email. Let's talk about it. You know, because if you know something, I'm sure you know tons more than I do. But uh, if you know something that is readily available to you that you think would be a good way to deliver an outcome, you know, a final deliverable, then let's do that. So anyway, I just wanted to make a uh, quick video to say welcome to class. It is non-synchronous online, so we are not required to do meetings. I will do voluntary Zooms from time to time. You're welcome to attend. It's not a requirement to attend. Uh, if you get in a jam, reach out to me via email. If we need to do a private Zoom, we'll do a private Zoom. You know, what, whatever, whatever makes life better. Um, you got a bunch of reading to do. You got some PowerPoints to go through. Uh, some topics you have to research and start to understand. Uh, if you want to keep the textbook and use it for reference, by all means. If you want to opt out of the textbook, there's an opt-out date somewhere I sent. Uh, so do that, whatever's, again, better for you. And, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be chatting, obviously, throughout the semester. But I just wanted to, again, welcome you, lay some of this information out for you, and tell you don't panic. As far as uh, delivery dates, uh, there's a lot of flexibility there. There's some stuff in the... Uh, a schedule that I'd like to somewhat try and stick to. Uh, but again, uh, nothing's, uh, you know, necessarily in concrete. So 
you know, it says uh, for the third session, you know, or what would be an equivalent of a third session somewhere around the end of January, research Hofstede's five. Okay. Well, if you don't get to it until the beginning of February first week or something like that, then do that. It says view the PowerPoint overview of international basics. If it's not by the 31st, it's not by the 31st. I'm not going to quiz you on this stuff. I'm not going to torture you with this nonsense. So, you know, do some of that, but try and keep up. Don't, don't, you know, disregard everything that's on the tentative schedule, you know, proposed schedule. And, you know, some of the more enjoyable features, for example, at some point, whether you love them or hate them, Michael Moore uh, makes some great movies. And there's one entitled Where to Invade Next. And we'll put it in context when we get there. But you're going to have to send me an email that you're participating in class. You're going to have to participate in the discussion board. There are going to be a couple of uh, analyses. So, for example, and most of those are a little bit later, but in March it says uh, do an analysis on the movie Gung Ho. You know, because we're using that movie Gung Ho as a case. So you're going to have to do an analysis, do an analysis of Porter's competitive advantage of nations, you know, and that's uh, that's in April sometime. Uh, and then there's something Nippon Paper, Packet, Habana, we'll be talking about that uh, and, uh, you know, a bunch of other things. But then at some point, do an analysis of the Michael Moore movie, Where to Invade Next. And when it's in context, it'll make some sense to you and so forth. But again, 10% excuse me, of your grade is participation. And the only way I can gauge participation is by having you send me an email very early on because I have to report to the registrar, as you all know, uh, who's attending and whether they're attending and, and so on and so forth. Discussion board's a big piece of your grade, 30% of your grade. So stay with the discussion board and don't don't not do it all semester. And then the last week, try and plug in a few. That's That's going to do nothing for you. So and look, do you have to respond to every single topic? Well, no, but I would try and do most of them. And, and remember, try to add something to the tone and tenor of the conversation. This is not one of those courses where it's, well, I feel this or I feel that. That's, that's psychology and sociology. Here we're interested in a certain amount of objectivity backed up by, you know, expert thought in the field. So if it were a paper, you'd be you know, having a reference section and doing citations in your paper. And, and we're not terribly interested in, well, I feel this about that. Now, there, there will be some areas, Michael, Moore in particular. But uh, point being that discussion board is important to you. The analysis is 30 percent of your grade for the case analyses. So you're going to have to do a decent job with that. And, you know, your final company analysis uh, that's important. You have flexibility in terms of the technology you'll choose to use and so forth. Um, any issues, uh, you know, uh, concerns, questions, best thing to do is reach out to me again in my email, uh, Gmail preferably, uh, if you want a quicker response, uh, but otherwise just send it to both, you know, my Gmail and my NJCU email. You know, that sometimes doesn't work. And, you know, funny thing with the system, uh, it happened this week, you know, uh, uh, I, I was in the university uh, on Friday, you know, doing some things. And so I opened up the university email and, you know, dealt with a bunch of stuff. And then uh, uh, I guess it was Monday. I opened up and there, there was a whole bunch of stuff that had been sitting somewhere that all of a sudden appeared, didn't appear, you know, and it's, it's older dates. It was from, uh, you know, December and all of this stuff. And it, wasn't there when I opened the, you know, the email at the university. My point being that uh, it seems to be a, a bit more reliable to use Gmail, but since, you know, the university would certainly like all of this stuff kept in the njcu.edu domain, maybe you hit both, you know, send it to both. And uh, this way, we're relatively sure I'll get whatever you send. And if we need to meet, we'll meet. Any questions, issues, concerns, reach out. Otherwise, blessings to all. Welcome to the class. And it should be, uh, you know, a bit of an interesting, I'd say fun, but fun is different for everybody. Um, a bit of an interesting semester. And I think you'll uh, definitely take some. Uh, again, blessings. Have a great day and we'll chat soon.